I wouldn't say this person's gone. Oh, okay, cool. It's gone somewhat viral. Let's say that. So, considering how small my flipping following is on social media. So, this is my post that I posted or I kind of retweeted. This is an image of Pharrell Williams at a recent Cause gallery show in Paris. I guess it's at the private view and he's taking a picture next to a sculpture that's featured in the Cause um, gallery. Sorry, in the Cause exhibition. And so far, my retweet has been seen 3,500 and. 22 times and i kind of said the following this is how you know uh being a fashion creative director is easy peasy work pharrell should be busy designing his first ever fashion collection for louis vuitton men's but instead he's going to private views lol one thing is for sure someone is working it's just not him so the reason why i wrote this is, is twofold i'm one of the people who despite being a very big a, a, a kind of a huge fan of pharrell musically and somewhat fashion as well, mainly for the music, but, you know, fashion also kind of relates to it. I was one of the people that is really doubting his ability to be able to take over from Louis, from the late, great Virgil Abloh at Louis Vuitton Men's, especially when you consider Pharrell doesn't really have any experience. Forget training, because Virgil didn't have any training either, but he doesn't really have any training or any experience, sorry, in putting together a full collection. The best work that Pharrell's done, I think, in his sort of design um, career has been when he's done really small collaborations or capsule collections. You think of the stuff he did with Montclair. You think of the stuff he did early on with BBC and Ice Cream and stuff. But apart from that, I don't really feel like the guy is known for being able to create full bodies of work or tell stories as Laura just telling I don't think you could tell stories over the span of 30 40 50 looks plus accessories plus resort it just feels a little bit crazy so I didn't understand why they'd appoint him but that being said fashion being the way it is at the moment it's not really important to have any sort of formal training in design at all especially if you've got taste because for the most part in these really big luxury houses they have people who are already working doing the actual nitty-gritty of the fashion work of pattern cutting of sewing of finishing of materials of you know textures whatever no, materials production all this sort of stuff being handled by somebody else so essentially what Louis Vuitton are proving here by hiring someone like a Pharrell Williams is that you know, the idea of going in there with some sort of design, design expertise or knowledge doesn't really matter. If you've got good taste, if you've got a bit of a following yourself, they can basically plug you into their already, in their already, you know, their running machine. And you could just basically churn out collection after collection with not that much effort. Because if it was me and I was in Pharrell's shoes, if it was me and I was in Pharrell's shoes and I was hired to take over from a, you know, a very influential and important person in fashion in terms of Virgil Abloh, like his design or not, he played an important role during his time here in reshaping fashion, reshaping what it looked like, especially men's representation, all that malarkey, the performance of the shows, the influences, the cultural aspect of it, the music, the history, all that stuff was involved in it. If you're going to be that person that takes over from him, you have to be real you have to be kind of aware of the weight and also if you're somebody that doesn't have much experience i'd want to spend every waking minute in that studio learning soaking up game um you know trying out ideas and trying to run through as many iterations of an idea or kind of prototypes as you can before you get to the runway collection because if not this picture is going to come back and haunt him because he should be in the studio designing. But instead, he's here posing with another Cause art piece. And again, Cause his friend. They're all friends, right? Nigo, Cause, all those guys. They're all kind of the same age. They kind of came up together. This is not the first time he has he's seen a Cause exhibition. He's seen them all. So did he really need to go? Should he shouldn't be in Paris focusing on flipping, putting the collection together? I don't know. But one thing it does prove, one thing it does prove is that this idea of having experience and know-how in fashion doesn't matter especially if you're going for the top jobs. If anything, if you're a kid and you're in fashion school, it probably might be beneficial for you to just, you know, commit your entire life to becoming very noteworthy or influential or maybe well-followed or liked on social media for your outfits or for your whatever else, your opinions. And then using that clout to segue you into a position in a job in these kind of high places. But if you go the traditional route and go to fashion school, there's no guarantee that you're going to be able to go to Louis Vuitton Mint. But if you actually decide to be a man or a girl around town, you put a little, you know, streetwear collection together, um, you start making your own little things here and there, but you then create a bit of a following. It's really, it's not without reason that someone's going to plug you and say, you know what, 
why don't you come to our brand and create a couple of collections and see how this goes? Because they want, you know, most of these bands, especially the ones that don't really have a huge Gen Z kind of client base, they want to tap into that as much as possible. So I do envision saying, I do envision seeing a lot more of these appointments, a lot of these kind of semi-celebrity type ones going forward. So don't be surprised if you see someone like a Rocky get an approach to do something similar. I can see that happening as well sometime in the future. So yeah, big up Pharrell, but I still think he should be in the studio designing. Like, like this, it's like that common adage they say about women, isn't it? We should be staying in the kitchen, you know, slaving away. I think he should be staying in the, ki in the studio designing because that man's going to need all the help he can get before that changes. 